Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys the basics of using Sticky Stick Stuck and what you can actually do with it. Uh, Sticky Stick Stuck can be purchased on the Unity Asset Store and you can also check it out in the links and descriptions below. Um, so we're going to go ahead and open up an empty scene here under the Sticky Stick, Stick Stuck package and it's under prototypes, under scenes. And we're going to go ahead and drag a few objects in here. Um, we're going to go to Assets, Prefabs, 3D, and then we're going to go ahead and drag a sphere in here. Um, we're going to drag actually two of them in here. And I'm going to make this one kind of up like this. And so basically what I'm going to do um, to kind of show this off is um, we're going to make this object stick to this one. Um, and what I mean by stick is it's actually going to join it together using Unity's join system. Um, but in order to do this, we're going to use the sticky stick stuck component to do this. So if you go to add components under physics, it's there's a sticky stick stuck component. Um, there's also a 2D version of that, and it's under Physics 2D, so if you're using sprites, you can also do it this way. Um, now let's go ahead and go to, you can also go to Tools and SSS and Add Component this way. So there's two different ways to do it if you want to do it. Um, we'll go ahead and do it this way. Um, now, you can see that um, right when it adds it, you can see that it's a fixed joint. So that means that it's going to be, once it sticks to that object, it's going to be a fixed joint that it uses to make this. So if I hit play here, you actually see that it jointed them together. Uh, if I hit the gizmo here so I can actually see um, see it, you can actually see that there is a, a screw icon there. That means that it's basically fixed at that point. Um, and if I hit it so that um, that I can grab the object here, I can actually drag it up and you can actually see that it's basically stuck to it using a fixed joint. And if I disable it, it just gets rid of the joint and cleans it up. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and do something a little bit more complicated. Let's make it so that, let's have it so that it sticks to two different objects. So if I duplicate this bottom one here, put it up above here and I hit play. So you notice it jointed one of them together, but not the other one. And the reason for this is if I select um, the object with the SSS component, um, you'll notice that there's a max affected items. And that means that it's only going to stick to one object. And you can have this as, as high as you want. Um, so if I put this to two, that means it's going to be able to stick to two different objects if it wants to. Um, ideally, it would probably be one if it was like something like an arrow. So like if you were wanting to stick an arrow into something, um, you would want the arrow to only really stick into one object and not two. Um, so it's, it's kind of up to you whatever you're doing with it. So if I hit play here, so now it's stuck to two different objects. Um, and if I disable it, then it actually cleans up the joints and you notice that they just went away and now they're they're cleaned. Um, some other options that you have here is there's a parent type and this is kind of cool that you can actually um, make it so that um, let me go ahead and clean or delete this sphere up here but so if I set this by default it's set to none but if I set this to child on stick that means that this sphere is actually going to child to this and then also put the join on it. So you'll notice that there's these two different objects here. And actually, let's um, rename this so I know this is the, the SSS component one. So let's just add SSS at the end of it. Um, so this is going, this sphere is going to child to this one if, I, if they get connected. So now you notice if I click on my sphere right here and I drill into it, the SSS one is actually a child now. Um, the other thing that's nice is if I disable it, it actually cleans it up and puts it back to where it was and then also removes the joint. Um, another thing too that you can do instead of child on stick, you can also do parent on stick. And that means that this is it's going to do the opposite. It's basically going to make it so that this sphere is the parent and then this one is the child. So if I hit play here, you'll notice that, okay, so it glued it together. You'll notice that the sphere SSS one is the parent and then that one's the child. And if I disable it, it'll clean it up and puts them back to where they were and cleans up the joint. Um, so let's do something a little bit more complicated here. Let's go ahead and take our um, sphere there and then let's go ahead and move this one up here. And then let's go ahead and add a few of these, kind of like this. 
And I'm going to go ahead and maybe just move the camera so that it's facing this way. So you can select the camera and press Control Shift F and then hit play. And oh wait, I want to make it so that this is this guy's floating in the air, so um, is kinematic or kinetic. And it only stick to one object because it only touched one. Um, but one thing that you can do is you can actually spread the stickiness throughout all of the objects that they touch. Um, and it gets a little bit more complicated, but it's, it's pretty cool. You can actually um, basically recursively go through objects that they all touch. And to do this, you would basically select the sticky recursive or stick recursively. And if you hit play here, now they all just stuck together. And what's interesting, as I said, parent on stick. So this guy was the parent. And now if I drill through here, you can actually see that it actually parented them all correctly. Um, and if I disable them, then it actually cleans up all the joints and it also um, puts the objects back to where they were under what transform they were parented under. Um, and oh yeah, and then I guess this is kind of a bigger thing is there's joint type. So we can select fix, character, spring, hinge. Um, I'm still kind of experimenting with this one. This might actually go away. Um, there's um, some interesting um, problems with it as far as on the Unity side goes. Um, but you're more than welcome to try it. Um, Let's go ahead and select character and hit play. So now you'll see it's kind of like you can actually see that there's like a bone, like a bone icon around uh, where it actually stuck it to. And I'm actually going to make it so that the parent type is none and hit play. Okay. And I can kind of rotate this and play around with it. Um, and I can disable it at any time and it cleans it all up. Um, another thing is um, you also have access to the um, actual joint um, information. So uh, if I'm under character, um, character joint properties are listed right here. And these are basically mirrored from Unity's uh, joint property types. Um, if I go to fixed, you can actually go into the fixed type and set the properties. Um, and you can also break stuff too. So like if it breaks, it actually cleans up, it cleans up the whole thing. So it cleans up the scripts and stuff like that if something breaks. Um, another thing that you can do too is there's a, some events here that you can actually put in. You can say like um, if the object sticks to something, fire it off an event. Or if, it, or if the object actually breaks, you can fire off another event too. Like, for example, if you had an arrow, you could actually say, um, uh, you could have it play a sound effect when it sticks into something or have a break a sound effect if it breaks. Um, let's go ahead and maybe set it to spring here and then hit play. Oh, and then let's also make it so that um, the spring joint also has enable collision on it. So that way um, they collide with each other. Yeah, there we go. So now you can see that the gizmo has, you can actually see a line of how it actually connects. And if I disable them, then it cleans up all of the joints and puts them back to where they were. So you could do, I don't know, we could play with this a little bit and say, um, maybe make like a little man or something like that. Let's make him like that big. I don't know. Put something like this. set him so it'll actually fall and let's go ahead and make it so that um, it's a fixed joint and since this guy is going to stick to one two three four five pieces let's make it so that the maximum set is five pieces 
and let's go ahead and make it so that um, the parent type is set to parent on stick so that the that way the body the center is actually the the parent of everything and well, let's just actually see what happens um, let's go ahead and set our camera so that we're looking at it there we go oh kinda did it <laughs> um, let's maybe select our body here and then let's go ahead and maybe ignore colliders and see if that does anything different um, let's set it so that um, it's a character joint and then let's maybe enable collision so that way it's like character bones Ugh. so there you can actually see all the all the bones that are actually connected to this guy um, and what's cool is um, if I select this whole object, this is the body right here, but you can actually see it parented everything actually correctly to how it was stuck. So if I disable it, then it actually puts all of them back to normal and where they were at. And we could even do, I don't know, we could try spring and see what that does. Maybe like set the spring to like 300 and hit play. <laughs> uh, maybe, yeah. Maybe I'll set it so that I can pick him up and move him up and play with him later. And then I can also disable him and he would fall apart. <laughs> Anyway, that's kind of a basic rundown of what you can actually do with this stuff. Um, there's a few other things that um, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail on um, uh, some other tutorials. I'm also going to have some tutorials on how you rig up objects like an arrow or an axe um, and some different things. And then maybe later down the road, I'll have more of an advanced look of what you can actually do. Um, but anyway, that's kind of an over a quick overview of the basics of what you can actually do with this stuff. Um, hope you guys have a good one.